Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today, something exciting because we're at a completely new theme park for us, which is Legoland Florida. So we've never been here before. So we know nothing about it really, apart from looking at the app before we arrived. So it looks like this is a great theme park for toddlers, young children. The entrance is right next door to the Legoland Hotel which looks quite nice and it's already looking super super quiet so parking is $35 for standard or $32 if you book it in advance on the website which is quite steep but never mind uh, we got our park tickets from uh, attractiontickets.com the UK attraction ticket site and when you buy them through there they're valid any day so there's no set date for them you just turn it when you want and they're valid for a full 12 months. So we're just about to go through the turnstiles. Oh yeah, and Oliver is dressed for Lego. Look at that! Oliver's a Lego boy. So we just walked through the turnstiles to a very animated man who was really happy to see us. Get showed us where the show times and map was. But it looks like they're building their Sea Life Centre here. Which is well underway. Broken ground, so that's gonna be coming soon. Sea Life Florida Resort. So it's Sea Life Lego, all part of the Merlin Group. Quick! Hi! Hi! It's Indiana Jane's. Dad is going to have a picture Hi. with him. Yeah, cool. Oh, Yay! Yeah, good one. So we just picked up a refillable cup at the Refresh and Refill Station. So it's $20.23 but we've got UK Merlin annual passes so we've got a bit of a discount so you pay for it once and then all day you can get freestyle coat refills and also slushies at some stations as well our first ride is going to be the Grand Carousel which is hopefully just going to be a walk on and that's in front of the Granny's Apple Fries which Katie wants to try later Oh dear, we're on the carousel. <laughs> we're on the top floor. Whoa, oh, he's got the jerky horse. <laughs> Yay! Alright, next up we're going to head up in Ju Duplo Valley. I think we might go on the tractors first, these are pretty cool. We're on the Duplo train! It's a really cute looking ride. Lovely. Ready, mum and daddy are just chilling in the back. Ah, oh, nice. We're going to have a little sleep on me. Oh, wake up! We're going to crash! No! <laughs> Oliver's decided what he wants to be when he grows up. Oh, here we go. He's going to be a doctor. Hello, Dr. Barry. Hello. Oh, no, he's going to be a scuba diver. He's going to be a marine biologist. Oh, no, he's going to be a businessman. Oh, no, he's going to be a fireman. <laughs> I'm looking at the map. The park's just quite long and thin. And so as a result, all the rides near the entrance have got slightly higher wait times and the ones at the back are walk-ons. So. You know? high wait times, like yeah, 15 minutes. for us high, minute, high wait times 15 but we think the driving school and the fire engine ride and the coast guard might get a bit busier throughout the day and they're like walk-ons at the minute so we're thinking we'll walk to the end of the park and make our way back and hopefully that way we get the best wait times so the mini land it's quite a famous little uh, attraction in all the Ergoland parks building all famous landmarks, towns, cities out of Lego. And this one's unique because it's covered, which is quite nice. So you're not out in the baking sun. So you've got the Daytona Raceway, you already see New York, space shuttles, you see Washington, Golden Gate Bridge, which is really cool. So the park's on the side of this beautiful lake and there's a bit of a water stunt show 
So I think there's four showings today, so we're going to catch one of those. But that's where this takes place. And then further down here, you've got the pirate boat ride as well, which I think is quite popular. So it's only a 10 minute wait at the minute, so we're going to head down and do that. Also in the park, you've got Cypress Gardens as well, which is a historic botanical garden. It's beautiful. So if I understand correctly, I think that was one of the first in the United States, um, like a big attraction, like a botanical garden, so people would come and visit the gardens. You can see why, because it's stunning. And the Pirate River Quest is going to be going around that. So here we are at the Pirate River Quest. So small children have to wear a life jacket. Oh, sorry, the camera's all over the place. And it looks like it's going to be a walk-on. When we first arrived in the park, it said this was 50 minutes, so we're hitting the ground running with this one. It looks awesome. This is going to be our pirate cruiser. Everybody say cheese. Yeah. So nice. It's beautiful. So my, that pirate boat ride is absolutely gorgeous. So relaxed. So nice. So I didn't realise at the end it's like boat ride into the lake. Yeah. Where there's residents basically fishing and stuff like that. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Well, there's loads of wildlife. He was pointing out turtles hawks and turtles. Well. That's definitely a highlight. It's a really long ride as well, like 20, 25 minutes. So the queue has shot up to 60 and we got it on a walk on so that's super lucky so we're going to head on those coast guard boats in a bit first oliver's desperate to go to junior driving school ages three to five and you've got rescue academy as well oliver's changed his mind he wants to do rescue school first so we've been on this before at legoland windsor so you have your own little fire engine, you've got to pump it and drive it to the other side, put out the fire and then drive it back. It's a really fun little one for kids and it's a family ride as well so you can all go on it together. Yeah, here's our beast, look at this. Wow. Are you ready mummy? We're going to drive this. <laughs> Oliver's got the hard job of steering. We're heading to the fire. <laughs> right, now we're here, we're going to jump out and put the fire out. Quick! <laughs> Quick! Oliver, aim it. <laughs> you love that one, didn't you, Oliver? Here's another fire truck and we're with the chief as well. And next up we're going to head over to the junior driving school. So there's two of them for the bigger kids, there's age 6 to 13, you've got driving school. 
And ages three to five, you've got junior driving school. Little smaller, slower cars. Here's Oliver. Woohoo! Look at him, doing amazing. I think Oliver's made a friend and he wants to drive alongside him. <laughs> He's doing amazing. Pressing the pedal, turning. Yeah, I think we've got a little Lewis Hamilton on our hands. Oh no, he's backing up them. It's so quiet here that Oliver's got off the car and he gets to go straight back on. I wonder if he'll pick the same one again. It really is a lovely, chilled, quiet day today. This is fantastic. Beautiful weather, no crowds. It's really lovely little rides. Proper loving it. So I'm in. Firehouse ice cream. So you've got coffees, floats, sundaes, cones, and you've got the icy machines as well, which are included with your refill cups. So we're going to grab one of those. Got candy floss as well. All sorts of different flavour ice creams to cool down in this mega heat. Here's a happy boy because he's had four goes on the Junior Driving Academy, and he's got a cherry and raspberry slushy. That cup's paid for itself already. So that was over there at the Firehouse Ice Cream. There's another food option in this area as well, the drive-in diner. And in the sort of middle of the park, there's a pizza and pasta buffet, which I know they have in the UK, which is really popular. You pay one price and get unlimited pizza and pasta. I'm not sure if we're going to be eating today because we had such a big breakfast at Wawa's. We might save ourselves for a, an evening meal. But some good food options here as well. Next up, we're heading into Ninjago Land. Never really watched this before, but we've been on the same ride in the UK. Oliver's just spotted their little building station at the entrance of Ninjago. You love Lego, don't you? Building. I'm gonna head on Ninjago the ride. So it's a five minute wait. So this is a bit of a ride on where you use your hands to fire animated fireballs and lightning at the enemies. And you get a score at the end as well, which is quite cool. Near the ride vehicles. We're row three, and we're going to zap all those baddies. All of them. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> We're in the safari and dino zone now. Five minute wait for Coastasaurus. So this is a wooden family coaster. So we're going to check Oliver's height and hopefully get on this one together. This looks really cool. dinos on the floor as well what's cool about this park as well is that they have little play areas whilst you stood in a queue if it's really long the kids can play and build Lego whilst the parents stand in the long line so it just helps with boarding for the little ones Oliver really love that and we're gonna have to go on it again. Look at that. Can't beat a good old fashioned wooden coaster. So we're gonna run round and ride that again. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
this safari zone so we were just about to ride the dino coaster for a third time and it broke down so we've had to knock that on the head but we're gonna head to safari trek which is a five minute wait it's a walk on it's a walk on looks like a cute little uh, truck ride looking at all the lego animals i'm riding solo in my little safari jeep and i'm going to chase oliver and katie so they can see one adult one child or one bigger child on their own, like me. Here we go. It's a really pretty little ride. Let's see if I can get a shot of Katie and Oliver whizzing by in their Jeep. There they are. It's behind the elephant's bum. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, it was in the splash zone. There they are. <laughs> Very careful, I've just spotted a lion. Oh, and who else is here? I caught him! I caught you! <laughs> We're in the adventure area, which consists of Beetle Bounce, you've got the Lost Kingdom Adventure, which is a laser shooting game, and then you've got Pharaoh's Revenger as a little soft play. So Oliver's just running there, and I'm going to go fill up our freestyle drink. Our next ride is going to be Lost Kingdom Adventure. Let's go shoot some baddies again. Shooting all the baddies today. A Ninjago ride. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so we've got to help Johnny defeat Sammy Sinister. Here's our shooting. Good. Ooh. Hey. Whoa. Cheeky skeletons. They're everywhere. There's Sam Sinister. there. Don't blow us up, Sam, please. Oh, well, that was a fun little ride. Nice little story in theming. And that's score wise. And what did we get? 17,011 and zero. We've headed to the medieval area. And our next ride is going to be Royal Joust. No wait again for this. Some amazing queue times today. Definitely worth visiting on a weekday. Here's Oliver riding his prized horse. Oliver! Here he is! Woohoo! There he goes. It's a cute little ride for kids. No adults on this one though. No adults allowed. You crush the horse. <laughs> About to enter the castle, but there's the Dragon's Den food station. So I just thought I'd give you an idea of some of the prices when you're in here. So a King Dog is $15.59. Queen Dog, Bratwurst, $11.99. Cider Fries, $6.09. So. Fairly standard thing part food prices. But I'd probably recommend that pizza and pasta buffet because you're not going to lose with that. You get to eat as much as you like for that set price and drinks as well. This is Lego Movie World. It's got a big play area in the middle. Oh, looks like a splash ride over there. 
but we're heading on the Lego Movie Masters of Flight. So it looks like a bit of a soaring type simulator. You fly through the Lego world. In the corner as well, we've got Unikitty Disco Drop. Flight. Please proceed and leave any bags, all loose articles, and loose. Is everyone ready? Let the competition begin! Let's go! This will be the first time this vehicle has been tested in flight, so there may be some turbulence. There may be some turbulence. Sorry! Sorry! Smells amazing. Prices for your pizza and pasta, 22.49 for adults, 15.69 for children. So we do this all the time at Alton Towers and we've done the one at uh, Legoland in the UK. Pizza and pasta is always really good, limited drinks, it's quite a good value if you're eating in the park. Here we are at the Water Stun Show, just a couple of minutes late but it's like there's plenty of seating and even if there wasn't in the stadium. Let's grab a pure yeah, one of these benches, you've got a perfect view. That's stunning, across the lake. First yeah, five rows of splash zone. Ha ha ha! I love being a pilot! Welcome to Raw Fire Team! Alright, everyone, you're in for a very special treat today. That's right, folks! the Ferrari build and race section. Wow, look at this, this is cool. They had something similar in uh, Legoland Windsor as well. So you go in, you can build your little Ferrari cars and then race them at the end. Just good to know as well, at the building, if you've got any kids with uh, sort of extra sensory type needs, there's a sensory friendly hour for one till two every day. Now look at this, Oliver's in heaven. So you come in, you get given a chassis. Oh, let's have a look. And then you can build on it. There's tons of uh, Ferrari coloured pieces. And you've got some inspiration as well that you can build. Look at those. Build a Formula One car. And then once you build them, you can send them on the little chutes. Here. Jumping through the tyre. And then I 
think there's a sort of VR type, uh, not VR, like a, yeah, a virtual racing type thing over there. So you scan your car in, and race it around. You put your car in the bottom in that white bit, it scans it, and then it comes up on the screen. How cool is that? Right, so we're at the start of the racetrack. Show your cars, racers. So, Mummy's car is there. And Oliver, show your car. Oh no, this is Oliver's car. Let's have a look. That one looks very fast. And Daddy's car is here. Whoa, that was good. It's okay. Whoa. We we race Daddy's car for me. Thank you. Go on then, race it for me. <laughs> there we go. It's gone. Daddy's car's gone. The second test is here, so we'll send it up the ramps. Let me show us. Whoa! Oh, it didn't come through. Is it stuck? There it is. Try again, see if we can get it through the tyre. Ready, steady, go! Whoa! Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, we loved it in there, and it was surprisingly easy to get him out, which we didn't think it would be. So we're going to finish up, because the park has just closed, with a photograph of, would we say that's Sebastian Vettel? I don't know, Lego person who drives for Ferrari. Brilliant in there. Let's go remortgage our house <laughs> in the Lego shop. Wish mummy and daddy luck. The Lego sets aren't particularly cheap, but uh, a nice little one we found for Oliver that we're going to get him is this one, because he loved the driving school so much. So that's $20. And it's quite good, you get two little cars and all the bits compared to some of the mega sets. 100 for the whole park, but then over there there's a Titanic set which is $680. Got our purchases, and it is worth persevering if you've got a Merlin Pass in the UK. They, they scanned our barcode and it won't work, and then a couple of them they tried to type it in the barcode number and it still won't work and they just gave it as anyway the 10% so I just persevere with it we just say it's a Merlin annual pass in the UK all three places we've purchased up today they've been able to do it from the drink merchandise so should be able to get it the only thing we didn't do was parking so we're just gonna go to guest services to just see if we can get our parking uh, turned over and refunded because potentially we could have saved ourselves $35 but we'll see, no worries if not. So just clarified with guest services, you only get the parking free. If you're a state resident, you've got the uh, pass, so it's a big no. It's worth a try, wasn't it? We don't get it. That's fine. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I've got 10% on everything else. So I've had a fantastic day here. How good has this been? Loved it. Such a lovely park. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye! That was the man that greeted us earlier with all the enthusiasm. Yeah, what a lovely park. Like really beautifully landscaped, I guess that's because it's part of the Botanical Gardens back in the day. We got a fact that that was Florida's first tourist attraction, the Botanical Gardens. Opened in 1939. So yeah, beautiful park, beautiful little rides, perfect for kids. It's been super quiet as well, so we've got so much done. There's still a few rides we didn't actually finish, but... We did the majority though, I think. Did, the bulk. I think because we kept going on the same rides, it was a walk-on, just kept getting off and going on the same rides again. Because yeah. Because nearly all of the rides done, probably. Well, this is it, we did driving school four times. We did that roller coaster twice, and we queued up for the third time until it broke down. We've done loads. Um, I say, the only thing I wish is that the park was open a bit longer, so it, shut, it opened at 10, it's closed at 5 today, so... You know, when you're used to 10, 11 p.m. <laughs> We're right, just used to Magic Kingdom day. hours, aren't we? 11 o'clock finish and stuff, so. But I suppose it frees up the rest of the day for us, so we're gonna go over to the Golden Corral. Yeah, we went past the Golden Corral, it looks really nice and modern, so we're gonna try that one out. Yeah, grab a bite to eat, and then just see where the day takes us. If Oliver falls to sleep, we might uh, nip over to Disney Springs for an hour or so, do a bit of shopping whilst he's asleep. But if not, We'll have a look. There's all the hotels. Yeah, all the hotels. So if you stay in as a guest, you're right on the doorstep of the entrance. You could easily spend two days here. 
and Peppa Pig World. It's just a couple of minutes walk as well, this way. And then at the back of the park, so up towards the driving school and beyond there, there is a water park, which is an extra $25 to add on tea ticket, which we've not done today. So there's lots to do. You could easily spend two, maybe even three days here. It's definitely worth considering. Let's look inside the hotel. Do you want to stay there? Yeah. Right, let's head on out the park. Time for some food at the Golden Corral, which is literally across the road from Legoland. Perfect location. And this probably looks the nicest Golden Corral I've ever seen, so I'm hoping for the good things inside. Yeah, this looks Can really good. Show the camera? Okay, still wearing that. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks really nice and new on the outside. Let's give it a go. There's a look at your prices. So for us on a Monday, so it's four till nine, adults 16.99. Children under three eat three. So children four to eight, it's 9.99. Nine to 12, it's 11.99. So you come in and you help yourself to a drink first. And then once you pick your drinks, you go to the till and pay off. So it's a bit of a buffet restaurant. So there's still an element of table service and you get your plates collected and they'll bring you fresh drinks but it's a help yourself buffet. And there's a little steak, uh, steak grill section. They'll freshly uh, prepare you a steak to your liking if you tell them how you'd like it done. But everything else, just grab it and desserts as well and salads. Right, do a quick tour of the buffet. Starting from where I am. So you've got a bit of a dessert station. So you've got the create your own ice cream. Look at that, that's cool. Soft serve machine. And you've got all extras for your ice creams, marshmallows, cookies, fruits and stuff. Got some hot rolls, marshmallows, chocolate, jelly. Look at these puddings. Red gelatin, Ooh, blueberry pie. Look at all these. Delicious. Hot desserts, bread pudding, apple cobbler, some cookies, and then on to the savoury stuff, the dinner, steakhouse fries, fried okra, hush puppies, fried fish, bold and delicious shrimp, Sinatra River's cabbage, got chips, beans, taco meat, steamed cauliflower, cheese sauce, steamed broccoli, hot roast, look at that, yum. We've got a meatloaf, a pasta, pasta sauce, homemade potato chips, fried plantains, you've got some carved pork loin, barbecue pork ribs, and so you've got some of the grilled stuff as well that they'll slice up for you, um, steaks, look at those. Wow, beautiful. Oh my God. Mushrooms. Baked potatoes, turnip greens, black eyed peas, some Bourbon Street chicken. Looks amazing, thank you. Cuban roast pork, corn muffins, peppers, baked fish, look at that, and the vegetables, mac and cheese. You've got gravies, fried chicken. Then over to the colder section, or the, no, this is soups actually. So you've got chicken noodle soup, timberline chilli, clam chowder, broccoli cheese soup, salads, salad items all through here. Look at that, fantastic. All looks really nice and fresh as well. And that's going to be a lot. So there's a couple of locations, the Golden Corral, at least two or three in the Orlando area, but we're obviously opposite Legoland. So the ones we found in Orlando, a couple are a bit dated, but the food is still amazing. This one looks quite nearly renovated, which is nice. So I think we're gonna grab a couple of plates and tuck in. Some of the plates we've come back with. Cater's plate. Oliver's plate. No, this is looking good. Have more babies and meaty. It's nice comfort food. 
Right, so we just got out of the Golden Corral and we look like little piggies. Oh, <laughs> Getting fatter and fatter by the day. I'd love to do a comparison oh. from our day one travel video <laughs> to now, like if my cheeks are going out. Put so much weight out. on. Lost, we both lost a load of weight before coming out just so we could eat. <laughs> <laughs> and we've definitely eaten. <laughs> I think that weight I we've thought, lost yeah. has been regained. Absolutely. But that was a delicious meal. Like it always is at the Golden Corral. It's just quick, cheap, easy. You know what you're getting and it's just nice. The server so. was really nice as well. We left for a good tip. Yeah, she was lovely. And even though it was busy, it didn't feel busy, did it? There was a lot of people in no. there. We didn't feel busy. Everything was fresh, being replenished quite often. Yeah. And um, if you're leaving a tip for her, make sure you bring cash because you can't yes. pay. You don't leave tip on card here. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think we're going to wrap it up now. We might not go to Disney Springs after all. We're a bit, a bit tired. So it's about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour drive back home. And Oliver needs a toilet as well. So we're definitely going to have to go. But uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to have a bit of a pool morning. Yeah. Uh, relax, have a lie in. And then for afternoon. Oh. Yeah. The cars to build. Driving school Lego he's going to build in the morning. And then in the afternoon and evening, we're going to head to Hollywood Studios for Phantasmic. So yep. that's tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's day. Exciting stuff. So uh, thank you so much again for watching. Thank and, you uh, for thank, watching us. Thank you for watching us, Oliver. And say see you on the next one. See you from our house. <laughs> see you real soon. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.